Bright Amp presents Five Hidden Treasures You Can Still Find Number 1 When Forrest Finn was 9 years old, he found an arrowhead near his home in Texas. After that, Finn fell in love with ancient artifacts. He became a pilot in the Air Force in the 1960s. He frequently flew his plane to Pompeii to search for artifacts, and he found plenty. By the 1980s, Finn was diagnosed with kidney cancer and was notified that he would only have a few more years left to live. He decided to hide his favorite artifacts and give everyone clues about where to find his treasure. He estimated that it holds about $1 to $3 million worth of gold and jewelry as well as other valuable artifacts. Number 2 during the late 1800s, it didn't seem far-fetched to many Americans that they could get rich by traveling west and mining for gold. Some of the men didn't even have to go all the way to the Pacific and ended up finding gold in Montana. Finding gold in Middle America was becoming more difficult as time went on, so more men continued to go further west. They may have been too quick to leave though. Some experts say that a steamboat was heading up to the Bighorn River to supply General Custer in his fight against the Indians, and when Captain Grant Marsh caught wind of the General's defeat, he realized he would have to take injured soldiers away from the battlefield. In order to prevent the boat from sinking under all the weight of the passengers, Marsh had to bury $375,000 worth of gold bars on the shores of the Bighorn River. Number 3 In the Salton Sea, just 160 kilometers inland of the Pacific Ocean, there are apparently millions of dollars worth of pearls. Researchers believe that a tide coming in from the Gulf of California merged with runoff from the Colorado River, carrying the ship, likely a Spanish ship, off into the Salton Sea. In 1870, the LA Star issued a story about Charlie Cluster, a man who went in search of the ship and its treasures and actually found the treasure. But ever since the story was published, there has been no mention of Cluster or the ship that was allegedly found. Some people believe that the ship and all of its treasures are still somewhere out there waiting to be discovered. Number 4 Confederate Commander Colonel John Singleton Mosby and his men were known as Mosby's Raiders. They conducted quick raids of Union camps and had the skill to remain undetected by the Union Army by blending in with the local people. One of his raids took place 75 kilometers south of the Confederate line at Culpeper, Virginia, where he took the Union General Edwin Stoughton prisoner. He also took a sack that contained $350,000 worth of silver, gold, and heirlooms. He had also captured 42 other men and had to take them through Union territory to get across the Confederate line. Mosby was afraid that the Union soldiers would find and take his treasure, so he had his men bury the findings between two large pine trees just in case a battle broke out. Mosby marked the trees using his knife and the raiders got across the Confederate line without running into any trouble from Union soldiers. Number 5 According to legend, in 1816, Thomas Beale and some men he was traveling with found gold and silver while mining in the Rocky Mountains. The sum of the precious metals were estimated to be worth $63 million in today's currency, and all of the men wanted to ensure that their families would get the money if the men died. Beale decided to write three ciphers, one with the exact location of the riches, the second described the contents, and the third was a list of the names of the men who found the treasure and the names of their next to kin. Beale gave the ciphers to Robert Morris, an innkeeper in Lynchburg, Virginia. Morris was instructed to wait 10 years before opening the box that contained the ciphers. A key to decode the ciphers was to be mailed to Morris as Beale did not return for them. The key never arrived. Morris and a friend of his tried to decode the ciphers, but only were ever able to decode the second cipher describing the contents. Thanks for watching another amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.